welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Kids Online. Well, here is a scary fact for you. This is actually the last episode of Kingdom Kids before Christmas, because next week we're having our Christmas movie, which I know quite a few of you are involved with. And then the week after that is our carol service. And before you know it, Christmas. Well, last week we started the Christmas story by looking at Joseph being visited by the angel. Today we're going to jump ahead in the story and we're going to be looking at the visitors that baby Jesus had. Now the theme for today is actually that Jesus came to be a good shepherd. But we are actually going to take that just one step further and we're going to also say that Jesus came to be the king. Because we're going to be looking at two different groups of people that came to visit Jesus when he was a baby. The first group were the shepherds and the second set were the magi, the wise people or the kings. And these two groups of people show a lot about who Jesus is. Now, if you remember from last week, I said that the different Gospels sort of focused on different parts of the story. And Matthew focused more on Joseph and the Gospel of Luke focused more on Mary. Well, in the same way, these Gospels focus on the different visitors. So Matthew, you can find the story of the Magi, the wise people in Matthew chapter 2. And these are the visitors that came from afar to give Jesus those gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh. Well, Luke, he focuses on the shepherds. So you can find their story in Luke chapter two. So we're going to now just watch a quick video to go over the story just in case you've forgotten it. And I hope you enjoy. This is Jesus. Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven, what does happen? and the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village, you stay there. and found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. What? <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. <laughs> then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the savior of the world, the son of God. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset, ah! as was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah, not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and it was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha! 
So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the King of the Jews star first appeared. Oh God! And then King Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. And then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up! The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We'll take it where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. Now I wonder if you've ever made the connection between these visitors and the names that we can call Jesus. Jesus is known as the Good Shepherd and he's also known as the True King. And who came to visit him? Shepherds and Kings. Every year I try to remind you guys that shepherds in Jesus' time and shepherds today are two very different things. Okay, sure, they both look after sheep, but that's pretty much where the similarity ends. Because shepherds in Jesus' time were not people that anybody wanted to hang out with. They were the lowest of the low, they were kind of looked down upon, they were probably smelly and dirty, I mean they stayed out in the fields for most of their time. So when the angel chose to go and tell the shepherds of all people about the good news of baby Jesus being born, well, God was saying that even you guys, even the lowest, even the people that others look down on, you are invited to know about Jesus. And then on the complete other end of the scale, we have the kings. These are important people. Now, we don't know too much about the magi, the wise people, the kings, but we do know that they were wealthy. They came from a completely different land and they were really smart. And God gave them a sign so that these people, these amazing, wealthy, smart people could still come and see Jesus. From the lowest to the highest, all invited to join in with the birth of the Son of God. So if you ever come across a person who says, no, God isn't for me, he wouldn't be interested in my life, or even if you feel that way, well, this is a great reminder that God includes everybody in his story. He wants to know everyone. He wants to have a relationship with everyone. And that includes you. But these visitors, they also point to who Jesus will become. Now in John, one of the other Gospels, John chapter 10 verse 14, Jesus himself says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And he's talking about us being like his sheep, not real sheep. And he's saying that if we know Jesus, Jesus knows us. We have a relationship and we can follow him like sheep do a shepherd. So shepherds came to visit baby Jesus and Jesus says that he is a shepherd. 
So that was the shepherds, but how about the wise people, the kings, the magi? Well, interestingly, Jesus never says that he is the king, but he does kind of give a lot of hints about the kingdom of heaven and how he is the ruler. He is the king. Now, later on in the story of Jesus's life, after he is arrested and before he was crucified, he has this interview with Pilate and Pilate asks him this question. Are you a king? And Jesus answers that my kingdom is not of this earth. Jesus is saying that his kingdom is heaven. His kingdom is above just a place. He is king over everything. So these wise people, these kings that came to see Jesus and gave him gold and frankincense and myrrh, they were pointing to the fact that Jesus is the true king, the king of heaven, the king of everything. And that means that we can worship him and we can praise him and we can honor him as the king that he is. This tiny baby that was born with no place to stay and laid in a manger for food, well, he is the true king. He chose to come to earth. He chose to die for us so that we could join him in his kingdom. How amazing is the Christmas story? So I thought we needed a bit of Christmas fun for today. So our game is the finish the song challenge. In a minute, you will see a video of some songs being sung and you just need to fill in the gap. What are the words not being sung? Now they are pretty well-known songs, so hopefully it's not too hard. Have fun. Hey everybody, let's play a game. Finish the song. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season. To be jolly, fa la 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 la. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy. So tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Away in a manger No crib for a bed The little Lord Jesus Lay down his sweet head the stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive our King. nativity scene competition is still going on and will do until the 18th of December so you've got until then to get me your entries if you want any more information check out last week's video or just send me an email and I'll help out so like I said before there is no Kingdom Kids video next week or the week after 
But next week, I hope you do tune in to our Christmas movie, and maybe you'll even see yourself or some of your friends on it. So if I don't see you, I hope you have an amazing Christmas. You have a great time with your friends and your family. We'll be back with a Kingdom Kids video on the 27th of December. So I will see you then, if not before. Merry Christmas!